And I'm pleased to say I'm joined now by Chris Gordon and Sophie Melville, who play Romeo and Juliet. Thank you both for joining me. Thank you. How's the run going, Sophie? Really good, I think. Mm. Yeah, we've had some great feedback on Twitter and from the audiences in general. Uh, just, yeah, good stuff mm. so far. Mm. It's fun. It's really fun to do. I mean, it's tiring, but anything mm. you kind of put loads of effort into, it's just been really fun, isn't it? And obviously, this is your first theatre performance. Mm. Were you worried about taking the title role? <laughs> I think you say yes, and then you worry after. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I haven't really, but it's Romeo, so I kind of always wanted to play this part and also wanted to do it my way, which was also Rachel's way. So not making him wet was one of the main things. And then just playing the truth. So I kind of worried a little bit here and there, but overall it's been fine really, yeah. And talking about playing it your way, obviously it's a traditional text, but it's a modern take on that. Is that more fun to play? Definitely, yeah, because you have all the dubstep music and the cool costumes, it sort of gets you excited for it. But it doesn't feel like we're imposing anything that's not truthful to the text. Yeah, yeah. It fits it, mm. so it doesn't really feel out of place at all. And nice that there's sort of a variety of accents in there. We've got Jamaican, Welsh, Scottish, yeah. all sorts. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. I think, like, lots of Shakespeare plays, you might just see RP the whole way along, which is... All right for some, but I think our way is quite interesting. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I don't think it needs, because it's set in Verona, but I don't think it takes anything away having these accents. I think it adds to it. And I think you can also be a lot more real when you're doing your own voice. Like in the audition, I started doing RP and Rachel said, no, no, just do it in your own accent. And you just get, you have more of an emotional connection then. So mm. a lot better, I think. And what's next for you two after this run finishes? I'm doing Panto, I'm doing Cinderella, playing Dandini, the little boy, and then hopefully doing the tour of Under Milkwood that's supposed to be going to Australia and to America. But who knows? Not that's signed anything yet, so we'll see. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> what about you, Chris? Um, uh, as of yet, I don't know. It's one of those things, because I've been doing a play, you kind of, I haven't had loads of time to audition. They are recasting Shakespeare in Love in the West End, which my agent spoke to me about, and I'd love to do that, so hopefully I'll get seen for that. If not, want to do a bit of telly, radio, all of it. Well, I wish you both well. Good luck with it. And thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you. Cheers.